In this video, we'll be finding three different ways to solve this integral. The first way, well first, let's factor out the constant 4 from the numerator. And also note that the square root of 5x is the same thing as multiplying the square root of 5 with the square root of x. The first way we're going to do this is by doing a u substitution. We're going to let u equal 1 plus the square root of 5x. And we can break up the root 5x as root 5 times root x. So then du is a derivative of that, so the derivative of 1 is 0. And the derivative of root 5x is just root 5 over 2 times square root of x dx. Now, I want to solve for dx, so I'm going to multiply the 2 root x to the other side, and then divide the root 5. We said that u was 1 plus root 5 times root x, so if I just solve for root x, I have to subtract 1 and then divide by root 5, and we're going to replace this root x that we found uh, with u minus 1 over root 5. And then from there we can simplify the root 5, these two root 5's are going to multiply to get 5, and then we'll have 2 times u minus 1 the numerator. Now we could just plug it in. So we have the 4 outside, the denominator is u, and then this whole thing is just dx. We can pull out the 2, so it'll be 2 times 4 is 8, pull out the 5, that's going to go on the denominator. We're left with u minus 1 over u. And now I'm going to split this up into two fractions. The first one is going to be u over u, which is 1, minus 1 over u. I'm going to integrate. The antiderivative of 1 is u. Antiderivative of 1 over u is ln of u. And now I can replace what u was. u was 1 plus root 5x. So let's replace all the, all the u's with 1 plus root 5x. And here I'm going to distribute the 8 fifths. So it'll be like 8 fifths times 1, 8 fifths times root 5x, and then 8 fifths times the natural log. So notice that we get an 8 fifths by itself, and it turns out that that's just a constant. So it's going to get absorbed with this constant over here. So I'm just going to get rid of it and just put it over here. So this whole answer right here. Um, is the answer to the this integral at the top. Okay, that was the first way. Now let's look at a different way. What if we just let u be the square root of x? Well, then du would be 1 over 2 times square root of x. And solving for dx, well, we have to multiply both sides by 2 root x. But root x, we said, is u. So that's just 2u du is equal to dx. Now we make the substitution. Um, we know that, well, root x is just u, so u is outside uh, of the square root. And then we pull out the 4, and then dx, we said, is 2u du. Now we're just going to pull out the 2. So 4 times 2 is 8, and we have u over 1 plus root 5 times u. We're going to let we're going to make another u substitution, but this time with v. So we're going to let v equal the denominator. So the derivative of that will just be root 5. And so solving for du, we get dv over root 5. Now we plug it in. So we said u, if we solve for u here, we get v minus 1 over root 5. And then the denominator is just v, because that's what we let v be. But we need to make a substitution for du. du is just dv over root 5. So this root 5 will multiply this root 5 outside, so it's going to be 8 fifths. We have v1, v minus 1 over v, which we can break it up into two fractions, 1 minus 1 over v dv. Integrate, we get v minus ln of v plus c. And then we, we had let v be 1 plus root 5 u. So I'll replace both of these v's with 1 plus root 5 u. And then u, we said, was root x. So replace the two u's with root x. 
And here I just combine the root 5 and root x under 1 square root. Distribute the 8 fifths to 1 to root 5x and to the natural log. Notice that 8 fifths is just a constant, so it's going to get absorbed again with this constant. And so this is my answer. Now finally, with the third method, we're going to let u equal root 5x. And so u squared is just 5x. Taking the derivative of this, so dx will then be 2u over 5, since x would be u squared over 5. And now we can replace the root 5x with u. That's what we let u be. And then dx, we just found out to be 2u over 5 du. Pull out the 2, multiply by 4, divided by 5. And then here, you can do a substitution. So you can let v equal 1 plus u. But I want to show you a different way. So you can be a little clever and say, well, u is the same thing as 1 plus u minus 1, since the 1s will cancel. And now I can break this up into two fractions. 1 plus u over 1 plus u, minus 1 over 1 plus u. The 1 plus u's are going to cancel to give us 1. And then we have 1 over 1 plus u. Taking the antiderivative, we get u minus ln of u. And we're going to replace what u was. u was root 5x. And then distribute the 8 fifths to get our final answer.